Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are at this uh, special time for one of our live webcasts. That's because we are live from the Whiskey Show in London. And I hope that uh, you can hear me okay. We've had some technical problems, but we've sorted through them. And we're going to try to make this thing work. Okay, how are you? Let me bring in Tyrone Cote real quickly here. Tyrone is a regular on the audience side, but this is the first time you've been on the uh, camera side. I didn't realize you were live. Just we just went live. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. It's okay. Nice to, nice to I, I know that you're getting ready for your meetup over at the Dingle booth. I so I think they're down that way. So I will see you later on, but we'll catch up in a bit. An arse hockey puck. I will treasure this, guys. <laughs> From the Association of Halifax Regional Scotch Enthusiasts, or ARS, this will have a prized place in my collection. Let's bring in our pal, pal Martin Mark Bardson. Now, come on in here, Martin. And uh, from Highland Park, first of all, we got to raise a glass to our late friend, Jason Craig. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have a glass, but I'll raise the raise bottle. Raise the bottle. Jason deserves a whole yeah. bottle. Uh, he was yeah, a good man. He was a good man. Uh, had the pleasure to work with him for 17 years. So um, he was my mentor and, of course, the guy that... Uh, Put me into Highland Park in the first place, so yeah, I owe him quite a lot. So. so, what is happening at the distillery right now? I understand things have been shut down for a while. Yeah, we had uh, we had an incident uh, end of May, beginning of June, where a huge lorry went up the road, had to take down his crane across the road. Uh, we have warehouses on one side and the distillery on the other. Uh, we had all the pipes for draft and also electricity and so on and the crane unfortunately took down all the pipes and the electricity. So we've been, uh, we've been we've been closed for quite a few months. Hopefully back in production end of October, uh, but uh, lost uh, quite a few months of production and uh, spent quite a lot of money refurbishing the whole thing. So, but back um, back to scratch and um, it's the waste industry. So we're just happy to be back in. Now, you brought me a dram of the newest uh, Highland Park cask strength. This is batch three, right? That's batch three, yeah. Tell us about it. Well, um, we, we, lost, we lost the cask strength series a few years back. And uh, what we wanted were to give people kind of a chance to feel how it was to go into a warehouse, but also a chance to, to enjoy the whiskey exactly like they wanted. So batch three here, we, we changed a little bit from batch one and two. American oak sherry season cask, European oak sherry season cask, a bit of uh, refill, but then we use some of our, our heavily peated whiskey as well. So compared to the first two, you find much more peat in this one here. Uh, and it's quite an old style Highland Park as well. Uh, so 60, uh, 64.1, so we're up there where the angels, they are not happy because they didn't take their share enough. Uh, but uh, a, a, a fantastic brand. Well, thank you for sharing it with us. And uh, what else is going on as far as new releases? What else can we expect to see? Well, we we don't have much, to be honest. Uh, we don't do any special releases at the moment other than for the mystery. We have uh, a new one coming out beginning of uh, next year, which I can't tell much about, just that it's older than 50. Uh, and we will probably do the release for it in, in America, uh, the global release. So, um, so of course, you will hear, I think, a bit more about that when we get closer. I suspect uh, so. So, yeah, so, so a whiskey with a few H on the back, uh, and a bit older than 50, so that's what we can say. And probably one of the most beautiful bottles you've ever seen. So, so. Well, it's good to see you again, my friend. It's been way too long. Way too long. Hope you enjoy the festival. And Thank come you. Come by the stand later. I will. Hi out there. Take care. Thank you. Take Thank care. You. Okay, that's Martin Mark Bardson from Highland Park. And let's see who all's uh, watching from uh, around the world right now. Pam Longville who says good morning from Duluth, Minnesota in the U.S. Greg, late afternoon. You know, just finishing up from Whiskey Live Paris last weekend. Chris Tedsenko watching us now from Chicago instead of Australia. Matt says, good morning, all. Tabitha Spirit Bomb, who was supposed to be here today, I thought, 
So nice to watch it a decent time this week. And let's bring in Graham Poole now. Graham sneaking his way in from Highland, from uh, Dingle Distillery, along with his wife, Faye. So sneak on in here, Faye, so we can see you. Okay, we're working with a, a webcam today because of technical issues, so it's not as good as I would like it to be. But how are things going at Tingle these days? Well, very well, yes, yeah, yeah. It's, it's nice to get out and about with, with Tingle. We live in Whiskey Life Paris last weekend and now obviously here in London. So it's nice to get catching up with people and yeah, letting people taste what's, what's new and what's coming. It's been about the first time you guys have been on the road in a while, right? Yeah, yeah. We did, we did a couple of things this year, but you know, this, this has definitely been the busiest week of our, our uh, touring. Yeah. So what's oh, new okay. at the distillery? So we're, not, we're hopefully going to rebuild the distillery. That's our plan. We're, we're waiting for permission to do that. So that, that's, that, that's going to be the biggest thing to happen. Uh, but in the meantime, we're continuing to brew some single malt still. Uh, Got a new, new set of nine releases coming out in the next... Uh, over, we'll span over a two-year period and they'll tie in with events in the Irish calendar. So get a chance to see something a little different from Dingle. And a bottle with his signature on. Finally. <laughs> it's only been a couple of years. I know. Three. Three. It doesn't seem like it, does it? No. Nope. No, no, it's uh, you know, obviously that, that, that certain thing happened for a couple of years, but we're now well out of that. And, and, uh, you know, look at how busy these shows are. Hopefully, the whiskey's got a good bright future ahead of us. Well, I'm glad you guys came by. It's great to see you again. Thank you for, Thank you for stopping well, by. We'll drink, bring you a dram. We'll drink a in a minute. Sounds good. Thank it's you. Longer. Once again, Graham and Faye Cool joining us from uh, Dingle Distillery in Ireland. Let's see who else is watching right now. No. Tabitha says she's going to be at the show on Sunday. Left it too late to get a weekend ticket. Nicholas Mustassi watching us from Massachusetts. This is not a whiskey festival in the States, Watchman. We are live in London at the Whiskey Show in London at Old Billingsgate. It just started about an hour ago. And the fun thing you can notice at the, this show, especially because you can't see it, but just over this way, there's a shop with festival exclusive bottlings that the Whiskey Exchange runs. And as soon there were people lined up at two o'clock easily, a couple of three hours ago just to get in here so that they could go straight to the conga line over to the shop to start buying up for limited edition releases some of which i suspect you'll find on ebay and some auction site later tonight so i want to also give special credit to our friends at doers red Breast, and white and mckay especially doers and white and mckay for their special support of our live coverage from london today and uh, we'll be doing the podcast live from here this weekend as well I do want to thank White and Mackay and Doers for their support. It wouldn't have been possible without them. Now, I'm hoping that, uh, okay, now, Chris Tadsenko is, whoops, wait a second here. We have had a technical problem. I'm hoping that Chris Tadsenko says, does your word get you to the front of the line, Mark? No, it doesn't. Um, for those who have not been following on social media the last 24 hours ago, the International Wine and Spirits Competition in what may be the most misguided judgment that they've made at that organization since 1969, decided to give some idiot from New Jersey their Spirit Communicator Trophy last night. And I am honored seriously by it. Uh, uh, I'm truly grateful for it. But uh, I'm trying to be somewhat, trying to be modest about it a bit. It's not, modesty is not one of my strong suits, but uh, I am extremely proud to have won the award last night. But no, it does not get me to the front of the line. And Crump the Cascal, I'm always envious of Mark's self created job. Yeah, it's self created, but thanks to the boss back at home who's dealing with a plumbing emergency right now who actually makes it possible for me to have the job I do. So
I'm looking around for our next guest because we've got several people that are supposed to be coming around and none of them have done so yet. So I'm going to try to vamp here for a couple of minutes until somebody comes to the top of the steps. Let me give you a little bit of a view of uh, what's going on here at the Whiskey Show. Right now, that's the crowd behind me. That's the crowd on the first floor. We have three full floors of action going on here at the show. So this is one I highly recommend if you can make it next year, I highly recommend you do so. Thank you, Watchman. I appreciate it uh, for the kind words. Thank you also, Pam, our pal Angelo. This is one of the biggest shows of the year, and I'm glad to be here, especially given the fact that we really couldn't have this show in the last couple of years because of COVID. I'm glad that we're all able to be here. Um, I know Whiskey Live Paris last week, they had a bunch of COVID cases come out of the show, and uh, it's been nerve-wracking to try to avoid it and stay uh, completely safe and healthy right now so i don't i can't promise how long we're going to go on this because i'm running on battery power here on the laptop so we will go for probably half an hour or so depending on how many guests uh, do show up i had a bunch of people who were scheduled to uh, get here right at five o'clock and of course only a couple of them did, so let me see who else we can grab around here. I apologize for the ragged nature of this one. Uh, doing these live shows on the fly, it's been a while since we've tried to do one. Christopher Malloy, Mark, any thought on the OSWAs? I'm not familiar with that one. Uh, if you can explain in the... Uh, comments, Christopher, I can try to give you some thoughts on it. Uh, that one doesn't quite ring a bell with me, so let's see who else we can drag over here. This is known as vamping, folks, live television, uh, nothing quite like it. Oh, the online Scotch Whiskey Awards. Um, I've not seen the results, so I really can't tell you how I feel about them. Um, not knowing who judges in these things, it's always hard to tell just how credible a competition really is. Uh, so that's one thing that would make me nervous about the OSWAs is not knowing who the judges are and not having some level of transparency in that. Uh, I think I'm gonna need another one of these. Thank you, Aaron, and also thank you, Juan, for their awards or for the comments on the award. Um, Greg Glass, the whiskey maker for White and Mackay, is supposed to be joining us. I think he's probably working his way over here as we speak. We're trying to get him up here. Um, with the show just starting, everybody's in a lot of demand right now. And I'm trying to see who comes up the stairs. <laughs> Let's take a look around and see what we can see here. Let's elevate the view here so you can see what uh, is going on. What do I think of the whiskey in my glass? Well, that Highland Park cast strength number three. While we're waiting, let's just vamp and do an online tasting. Come on over. Let's talk about Cavalan. We are live. You are live on WhiskeyCast. My friends from Cavalan I met last night, uh, Amanda and Aurora. Um, how are things at the distillery now? You told me last night that there are some changes that you're building out even more, making this place even bigger.
how are the sales going around the world? Great. Well, thank you for stopping by. I'd hate to pull you over on the spot, but uh, thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it coming by. Once again, Amanda and Aurora from Cavalan, thank you for joining us. So let's go back to Watchmen 99 thing. What do you think of the whiskey in the glass? This is uh, that Highland Park uh, cast strength volume three. And I get the peat that Martin mentioned on there on the nose. A lot of honey, a lot of vanilla as well. Uh, some sherry influence with some figs and dates. Mm. Question from Jack Parshall. Is this an event for rolling industry folks or is it for the whiskey loving public as well? No, this is for the public. This is an open festival. Uh, tickets are pretty much sold out all three days of the festival. Um, I think there might be a few Sunday tickets still available the last time I. Whoops. You're having issues with the camera going blank. So let's hopefully this will continue to work and hopefully you're still able to watch. But uh, Redbreast was named the Worldwide Whiskey Producer or the Producer of the Year in the IWSC Awards last night. And Tomatin won the Scotch Whiskey Producer of the Year as well as winning the Spirits Producer of the Year, the overall category that was uh, shortlisted among all the uh, Spirits Producing winners last night. So we want to congratulate the folks at Red Breast and Tomatin for their victory as well. Let's see here, other comments. Um, yes, Watchmen, yes, the Blanton's booth is just a few doors down. But there's a big crowd around the Blanton's booth, so we're not gonna hassle them right now. Uh, Spirit Bomb, are you going to be there Sunday, Mark? Yes, I will be here all three days. We'll be doing the podcast from here on Sunday as well. So hopefully we'll be able to see you and other folks out here all weekend long. Let's see who else we can see here. I feel like Martin Brundle doing an F1 grid walk and trying to see who I can drag over live at the last minute here. So hopefully without some of the drama Brundle brings with him when he does it. Uh, let's see who we can see. Let me just take a quick look over here. We'll give you another look at the uh, festivities. As you can see, we've already got about four to 500 people here. Uh, let's see, everybody that I talked to ahead of time is busy which is the way this usually turns out to be. So but, uh, hopefully I'll get to meet you then as well, Tabitha. I was looking for you today because I thought you were going to be here today. Let's see who else we can find around here to talk to. I hesitate to drag anybody into this uh, unprepared again, as usual. If you have any other questions, and Chris says to say hi to Aaron and James at Blanton's for me. Hey, James, come over here for a second. As a matter of fact, James from Blanton's is right here with me. You are live on a whiskey cast right now, and uh, Chris Tatsenko says hello. Hi, how are you? He is watching from, I believe, Chicago right now. 
he and Lilith are just finishing up their Australian trip. They were in the house visiting on Monday. Oh, wow. But uh, how are things at Blanton's these days? Blanton's is good. I mean, we're, we're uh, quite lucky in that we've got some more production coming over to the UK. Uh, we had some in July. We've got more coming over uh, next month, uh, towards the end of next month, because it's always really hard to satisfy demand. So sales are great. And uh, sneak preview, we might even have some straight from the barrel coming over as well, which oh, right. hasn't been in the UK market for about four or five years. So we're making some news right now with the return of the Blanton's straight from your barrel. We are indeed. Sounds good. Press. Great. Thank you, James. I appreciate no you coming by on short notice. That's all right. No problem. I had to pull James away from a couple of folks to get him over here. Ben Marnock had a great idea. Let's just, just walk around the show and see which brands are here. I'm going to walk down this aisle. Don, come here for a second. Let's bring in Don Davies from uh, the Spirit Exchange, the Whiskey Exchange and Speciality Drinks. You have been running around like a mad person trying That's to get this thing on, and now you can relax a little bit. A little bit. I can relax Monday morning. That's probably when I'll totally relax. Uh, yes. So we had some folks asking whether this was a show for industry folks or for the public, and uh, I told them it's the public, but tell us about the show. So essentially, we on Friday night um, and on the Sunday, we do allow trade and public together. Saturday is 100% public, and it's over a thousand drams, about a hundred dream drams. So those are ones that are over 500 pounds. Then we have about 20 master classes, main stage demonstrations, flavor zone if you get bored of whiskey and you want to try something else, food, crazy golf. Crazy golf. Crazy golf. We'll have to check that out later. That is very fun. We decided that was the April so Dave and I were having a little conversation. And I said, well, what can I do that's really fun? And he said, as a joke, crazy golf. And he didn't think I was going to do it. I did it. You did it. And let's see. Angelo Veneziano, our pal, says hello. Sam Longville says hello. Greg Serafian saying hello as well. So they're all watching right now around the world. So I love you guys. Thank you for putting up with us today no, on special thank notice. You. Um, and massive congratulations to this man who won the IWSC Communicator of the Year last night. So. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I'm still processing just how big this award really is. It's amazing. It's a great achievement. Great. Thank you very much, well Don. Deserved. Thank you, Don. I appreciate it. We'll let Don get back to work. Dawn's busy in between master classes. I saw her uh, talking with a vendor today that uh, was just, uh, the vendor was just behaving real badly and Dawn straightened him out real quickly there. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's try this idea that Ben Monica had just to walk around the show and see which brands are here. I'm gonna stick to this floor only because we're working off Wi-Fi, so I don't know if uh, this is going to work, how far I can go. Computer, demonstrator, yes, I'll be here all weekend. I'll be here Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So let's walk around and see what we can find and hopefully not drop the laptop. Can you catch Sikinder? No, I can't because Sikinder caught COVID a couple of days ago and is out sick right now. They've been trying to fill his master classes, and they're hoping that he gets better in time for the weekend. But we're sending Sikinder our best wishes for a speedy recovery. So, and no, Chris, we don't need the remote Aussie producer to read that, reach out to me, Chris, but I do appreciate the offer. Let's walk down here and see what we can find. And if the signal drops suddenly, it's because the Wi-Fi crapped out. So let's walk down here. See who we can find. We are doing a modified version of the F1 grid walk. Let's talk to our pals from Wisers in Canada. Well, well, uh, Dave so Mitten, see. long time no see. How you been, buddy? Very well. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I'm trying to get the camera. We are live. We are live on Whiskey Cast right now, so. I'm just taking the camera around, trying to uh, see who's what, what, 
do is what and where and trying to keep the damn thing level. Right so we're showing off the, the, the dark oak being released in the UK right now. So we're really excited about that. And it just finally hit the US too. Hit the US next month. I'll be back, I'll be down for the month of October in the US. So and Black Lagoon pop up actually all over. Tell us about Dark Oak because Don hasn't sent me any of this yet. What? Well, we're going to have to fix that. I'll give you this right now. So we don't forget the Dark Oak. So Dr. Don's Love 40, the OG, 100% unmolded dry, 12 of still, pot distilled afterwards, and 8,000 liters still, uh, 12 hours. Basically, Dr. Don and the team, or Amy, are the cylinder, Amy the best, uh, keeps in the heads and the tails, we keep the hearts. Goes right into the new American Oak, Love and Cheap Cherry, and the beautiful vanilla, toffee caramel, 43 ABV. But the Dark Oak, Dr. Don regages it. And level four, and you see a lot more almost like sweet vanilla ice cream, cinnamon to it, and bottled at 48 ABV. So he's got a lot, uh, 96 proof, America. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then you've also got a Pike Creek here that's finished in rum barrels. We do. We've got the 10 year old corn, a little bit of rye whiskey, 10 years next bourbon casks, and finished in rum barrels with that tropical notes, Caribbean spice. Really beautiful cinnamon. All right, Dave, thanks for putting up with us on short notice. It's good to see you, and I'll come back by and taste some of that dark oak later on. Yeah. All right, let's see what else we can come up with here. Let's talk to Annabelle Thomas from the Canadian Distillery. We came to you. Hello. Sorry, so, I've been like, I've got to get over there. That's, that's okay. You're live, so don't cuss. How are things in the Canadian right now? You just came out with a brand-new whiskey today. Today is Lord's Day, Quiet Rebels Order. Um, it's pretty exciting. It's going down extremely well. It's a lovely sweet treat because it was designed for Lorna, who's one of our distillers. Very sweet too. So ex bourbon and ex What else is going on for the distillery? What else is going on? Um, you see, you keep winning more awards for sustainability. We have had lots of awards for sustainability and for whiskey, which is nice. Um, and we're gradually just expanding our wings across the world. So our eyes are the best next. Uh, Can't wait. Time. We get a lot. Of, you in the US, you in the US, you in the US. So it's a big, big project to get over there. So um, that is that's the next step. But other than that, yeah, just keep doing what we're doing. We try and get ever more sustainable. It's an ongoing project. All right. Thanks, Annabelle. Annabelle, that's Annabelle Thomas from McNeen Distillery. Let's see what we can come up with here. Let's head back over to our table because people are supposed to come back to the table. Yep, this is definitely the pit walk. Where, as Angelo puts it, you can drink the whiskey, but you can't drive the cars. Thank you for the kind words, Jack. The Saber Falls, the Welsh whiskey is down there right now. I'm not sure who's down there, but... Uh, The show topic is already adult ages, so Bill Ricker doesn't see problems with little taste for cussing. Well, put it this way, if I started doing that, there'd be more than, let's just say that right now it's uh, six of one, half a dozen of the other on that side. Uh, Lockley, I did check with him. John Campbell is not here. He's on holiday with his family this weekend, so he is not here, but the Lockley folks are here, and as a matter of fact, They brought me a wee sample, but I'm having trouble finding it right now. So I will have tasting notes finally for the first Lockley single malts uh, on the show soon. Hopefully, maybe even as early as this weekend. Tabitha, no, Louise uh, McWayne is not here. Um, checked on that already. The JJ Corey booth was just down the way, as you probably saw. Let's see who else we can find. We've gone about half an hour so far, and I'm not going to waste any more of your time if we can't find guests. Once again, I want to thank our friends at White and Mackay and Doers. To be honest, they covered my travel expenses to come over here and provided the production support and literally made it possible for us to do the show this weekend. 
So I want to thank both White and Makai and Dewars for making that possible. Um, let's see if I can find that lock lead. I don't want to go digging into the bag too much. But uh, especially with the live camera and the laptop here, you never know who might decide to stick their nose in. So we will have some tasting notes for that Lockley later on. Let's see who else is in here. Let me ask you to repeat that because the uh, when my earpiece fell out, it muted everything. So. Oh, very funny. We started in '99, been producing ever since, and uh, we have a range of different things available. Um, full range releases every year. And then some uh, limited editions uh, that we have. One came out three days ago, Destination, which is a more fast finish, been going down very well so far. And then some very limited edition stuff, to be very small bike stuff at the end, part of our own All right. Thanks a lot for putting up with us. We'll talk to you later. Let's keep going through the crowd here and see who else we can find. Yeah, uh, sorry for the confusion here. So the folks wanted to know if Louise was here, the, and and Louise is not here. So we had people asking about her. But your guys are live on Whiskey Cast right now. What's your name? Steve. I'm Kira. Kira. Hello. So <laughs> you. Nice to meet you in person. Yeah, it's been we've we've exchanged emails in the past, but. Definitely. Love to with you. Star strong. <laughs> oh please. Tell me about the battalion, because this is new, right? Yes, so we are showcasing the battalion on stream for the first time in the UK this weekend. It is the nine-year-old single grain classic. Um, finished in tequila barrels for about seven months. So gorgeous, floral, zesty, citrus character, mixed in with like honey to gave notes, and a little bit of creamy spice, just lots of creaminess, and lots of all right i'll come by and try some later on this weekend good to meet you too thanks for putting up with us on short notice that's the folks from jj Corey irish whiskey let's go down here and see what else we can find oh tomer Gorin was supposed to come down and see us so we'll go see him tomer Tomer, you're live. Hello. Sorry, we came down to you. Tomer Gorin from MH Distillery in Tel Aviv. How are your whiskeys doing? Let's take a quick look at those whiskeys while you tell us what's going on. So we have a lot of new whiskeys. Uh, the cool range, the classic and the free elements you already know. But we have a series called Apex, which is small batches, both at the higher ABV. 55 and more, and uh, each batch focuses on different class types or different location in Israel. So, for example, we have this Dead Sea, uh, the, page, uh, the lowest place on earth, the Dead Sea. Different uh, three, type, three class types, 
patient with HPVC with extreme conditions, very sickly, degrees Celsius, and uh, really dry, and it reaches 25% end of share a year. Will this one be available in the U.S.? It is available in the U.S. Yes. All right. Through Ampex, right? Yes. yes. All right. So that's M&H's Apex. All right, Tomer, thank you for joining us on really short notice. We'll see you soon. That's Tomer Gorn from m &H Distillery. Let's see who we can find here. Well, we're passing the Compass Box booth, but um, we don't see John Glazer anywhere around. Let's see here. The PR folks are going to love me for Morris because I actually have bottles of both this, both of these at home that were just sent to me in the States. I have not seen this one, smoked muscat. So tell us about Morris single malt from Australia. So Morris is from Morris Brotherhood. So they're famous for making a uh, fortified wine. So they make a fortified wine since 1959. And six years ago, they turned the bottle of the wine casks. So we got a plate of the Jim Swan over to set up the distillation program. Uh, John McDougall is one of the and it's available in how many countries? I know it's in the U.S. It's now. In the and uh, like I said, I have the, these two at home that they've sent me, the two basic bottles. So we will be trying that, uh, doing tasting notes. And the thank you for putting up with us on short notice. Let's see who else we can find down here. Oh, 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 oh I found somebody. I have found somebody. I have found Dennis Malcolm from Glen Grant. Dennis, you are live on Whiskey Cast. Thank you. Thank you. How have you been? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Just just a live to give him a wee hand up there. And as normal. It's what are you pouring this weekend? How are you doing otherwise? Let's see, anybody has any questions? Ben Mark, not Ben Mark just put it very simply, a legend. He's talking about you, not me. No. Dennis, it's great to see you. Thanks for doing this on short notice, my friend. I'll come back and try some whiskey later on. Okay. All right, let's see who else we can find around here. All right. The new edition of the Malt Whiskey Yearbook. Hey, how are you? Let's bug Ingvar first. Ingvar, you're live on Whiskey Cast right now. Tell us about the new edition of the Malt Whiskey Yearbook that just came out today. Thank God it arrived today. Uh, because I was a bit afraid it was going to remain in Denmark, where I expect it. Uh, anyway, uh, it's the 18th edition of, uh, there are now 774 distilleries around the world, which is, I think it's a new record. 774? Yeah, yeah. What, what's editorial content is there in this time? Sorry. What editorial content? What about the articles this year? Uh, well, we have one really exciting article by Ian Wisniewski, uh, where we are talking about uh, toasted tasks, shark tasks, illuminated tasks, and how that uh, affects your taste. 
Uh, we have um, Joanne McGuinness from Canada. You all know. Uh, she's talking about a whiskey trip. Both emotional and in other terms. Uh, Christy Sherry, a uh, new writer in, in my whiskey book, but she's been around for many years. Uh, she's writing about sustainability, uh, which, of course, as we all know, is a really important topic. Uh, Gavin Smith is talking about the lowland histories, uh, the rebirth of a region, call it, and uh, there are a couple more uh, interesting articles as well. So, yeah. And it's available through maltwhiskeyyearbook.com, right? Absolutely. And uh, different uh, websites around the world, uh, the whiskey, the whiskey shops. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Ingvar. Okay, I appreciate thank it. Thank you, Mark. Let's get a quick update on Cardona Distillery now. You're going to shoot me. I forgot your name. Congratulations, Mark, and Cardona. You went last night. Thank you. I appreciate it. What's up? It's Desiree Reeves. So. I, I, know, I know Desiree. I'm so sorry. How are things down in Cardona? Really well, thank you. It's great to, great to be here, though, at the London Whiskey Show. What are you pouring in? How, how are your whiskeys coming along? Really well. Really, really well. So it's, um, we'll be seven and, and, um, in a, about a month's time. I don't know where that seven years went. I think I met you first, so it must be almost a decade, decade ago. When will you get beginning into the States, or are the plans yet? We've just been listed by Southern Glaciers into California and also into Illinois. All right, congratulations. They're, they're trialing us there, and, uh, and if the Americans like us, they will stay and will expand. I've had the Cardrona whiskeys, and believe me, you're in for a treat when you get to taste them. Thank you for putting up with us. How's Ash doing? He's really well, thank you. He's, he's home with the children at the moment, so I'm, I'm here. So I think you got the better deal. There's some wonderful whiskeys here to try. So it's true. All right, Desiree, thanks for joining us. Good Give my best, you. Ash. Congratulations again. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Hello. Let's talk with Millie Milliken. You're live on Whiskey Cast. And Becky Paskin is here as well. The last two winners of the Spirit Communicator Trophy. Oh, yeah, yeah, so I missed you last night at the ceremony. And thank you both for the award because they were both on the judging panel. Um, that does bring your taste into question, but. I'm sorry? Thank you. I appreciate it. So, what have you tasted so far? I've got to get down there and try that one. Tabitha says hi, and uh, we're getting, we've got listeners, watch viewers actually from all over the world watching. So, great. So thank you, and I'll catch up with you in a few minutes. Okay. So I think we're going to call it, because we've done 45 minutes, and I'm already at the end of the hallway. And I've got a truck. Can't work my way back. Well, let's see here. So, let's see if the uh, let's see if the Wi-Fi holds. Let's see if it holds. Let's see if it holds. Okay, it's, I see bars going down, so I don't want to take a chance on losing the signal here. We'll give you a weather report for London right now. It's raining, surprise, surprise. It was nice and sunny yesterday and this morning. Now it's uh, typical London October weather. So I'm going to call it on 45 minutes on this. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for putting up with this. Um, it's been a technical challenge, but it's been also been a lot of fun. I want to thank everybody for watching, all the guests we pulled in. I want to also, again, once again, thank Dewars and White and Mackay for making it possible for me to be here this weekend, along with our friends at Redbreast as well. Um, we will see you next week back in the charming yet regrettably dry town of Haddonfield in the studio. So take care of yourselves, and we'll see you next week.